In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use two monitors with Adobe Premiere, which can be um, really useful. Uh, you might be using a laptop and have a monitor as a second screen for that, in which case you can use both the laptop screen and the second monitor, or alternatively, you may have two monitors set up on your desk. To use the second monitor, then simply go to Edit, Preferences, and go down to Playback. In the playback dialog, then you'll see your two monitors. Simply check them both and say OK. And you'll see that the image appears on the second monitor. So let's just look at that in a, a view that you can see both my monitors at the same time. Check them both and say OK. And you'll see immediately on the other screen that you have a playback window in full screen. And if I play the timeline, then you see that you get both the display on the program monitor on your main screen and you also get a full screen display on the other screen. This is a good way to do it if you like this to be a permanent setup but there is another way that you might find useful if you only want to use this capability from time to time. So let's first of all switch off the second monitor in the same way. Go to playback and uncheck the two screens. We're back to the way that we were. Second monitor is back to just showing the desktop. A second way to do this that may offer some benefits is simply to move the program monitor from the main screen onto your additional monitor. So if we just click on the title of the program monitor and drag it across onto your second screen, we can then make it whatever size is desired. We can make it pretty much full screen if that's what we need to do. And as I play the timeline, you'll see that the program monitor is operating as normal on the second screen. This has the advantage that it's temporary. You can simply drag it across to your second screen and then put it back when you don't need to use that feature anymore. It also has the additional benefit that it frees up some space on your main monitor, which you may want to use. For example, here you get a much bigger view of the effect controls panel. So those are two advantages of using this particular way of doing it. And when you've finished with that, you simply click on the title of the program monitor and drag it across to your main screen. Hold it to the right of the effects panel so that it goes back into its normal position and release the mouse and you're 100% back to normal. So it's just really so easy to do. Drag it across, use it there, then take it back and put it back where it belongs in the first place. So if you make any kind of mistake on where you drop things back and your workspace is a little bit out of control, simply go into whatever workspace it is and do a reset to save layout and everything will be back to exactly how it was um, before. So I hope you find that useful. If you enjoyed this short tutorial, then please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so that you get notified of new tutorials as they're uploaded. I'll be posting a new tutorial each week I try to keep the tutorials as practical as possible so you'll build up your skills in Photoshop, Lightroom, Premiere and After Effects.